And as we begin Lent, we take a look at Bartolome Esteban Morello's painting of the return of the prodigal son not only represents the parable itself, but the deeper meaning of how even after we lose our way, God will rejoice when we return to him. And joining me now is Jim Sullivan, art historian and author of The Beauty of Faith. Jim, welcome back. So good to see you. It's good to be back, Tracy. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Great to see you in person. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about the painter? You know, on Ash Wednesday, uh, the first reading at Mass invites us to return to the Lord, to return to God with our whole heart. This painting from the National Gallery is a visual catechesis on what it means to return to the Lord. Um, what happens when we turn our gaze back to God? Uh, the painting is titled The Return of the Prodigal Son by the 17th century Spanish Baroque painter Bartolome Esteban Murillo. It's an example of what is called a simultaneous narrative. Uh, where we see all of the elements of this familiar parable of the prodigal son presented to us in one scene. It is absolutely exquisite. It's so beautiful. Um, what do you think this painting can teach us, especially as we enter this Lenten season? So if we read the painting from left to right, we see on the left a young boy leading a fatted calf. This will become the feast for this family. Uh, then on the right we see a, a steward with a tray with fine clothes and a ring. Uh, these are symbols of the restored dignity of this prodigal son who's returning home. Uh, and then on the far right, we see the elder son who's not quite happy at this turn of events as his brother returns home. Uh, but Mario really wants us to focus our gaze on the center of the action, which is the father and the prodigal son. Uh, the son kneels before his father, begging for forgiveness. Um, and, and a little dog, symbol of faithfulness, fidelity, jumps up to greet him. Um, his clothes are torn and tattered. His feet are dirty. He is a symbol of all of humanity, estranged, separated from God. Um, and then the father leaning down to gently embrace his prodigal son uh, and welcome him back into the family. Yeah, it is so wonderful. We have uh, a little less than a minute left, but wondering uh, what more you can tell us about this beautiful painting. Uh, what else would you like our viewers to know? Sure, Tracy. You know, the father's loving embrace of the prodigal son, uh, which is at the center of Murillo's painting, is really an image of what happens to us when we return to the Lord. This is the invitation the church gives us in Lent. Uh, and as we journey from Ash Wednesday through Lent to uh, Holy Week to Easter Sunday, we encounter again and again a God who is rich in mercy. And so like the prodigal son, I think our Lenten works of a prayer and penance and fasting and almsgiving uh, purifies us, restores our confidence to entrust ourselves to the embrace of a forgiving and merciful God. Yeah, and Jim, thank you so much for coming on and sharing that with us and sharing this beautiful painting. Uh, we always appreciate it. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you, Jim.